It's a bright spring day. You're walking up Bascom Hill on your way to class. Suddenly, gunshots ring out, then screams. You realize students nearby have been shot. The lone gunman flees the scene, and you rush in to help the victims. What can you do? Attacks like these happen far too frequently these days, but I'm not here to scare you. I'm here to equip you with knowledge that you can use to help somebody from bleeding to death. It all has to do with this simple strap. Actually, it's more than just a strap. It's a tourniquet. As the Journal of Emergency Medical Services explains, a tourniquet can be applied quickly with minimal personnel and no other equipment. Today, I'd like to demonstrate how you can apply it in emergency situations. As you know from my intro speech, I was in the Marine Corps for five years. That's where I first learned how to apply a tourniquet. And researching this speech gave me even more helpful information. I'll start by discussing when a tourniquet should be used. Then I'll demonstrate how to apply a standard combat application tourniquet. Finally, I'll show you what you do if you don't have a combat application tourniquet and have to improvise. Let's start off with when to use a tourniquet. Tourniquets are useful in situations where somebody is hemorrhaging or bleeding heavily from a limb. This could include somebody who has been shot, stabbed, or in a serious accident. An article last year in pre-hospital emergency care explains that in these situations, tourniquets are a useful method to forestall the catastrophic effects of rapid blood loss. To assess whether a person needs a tourniquet, look for severe or rapid blood loss from the victim's arms or legs. If you see rapid blood loss, a tourniquet is a good idea. However, if you do not see rapid blood loss, or if the blood loss is happening from the torso, then a tour tourniquet probably won't help. Now that we know when to use a tourniquet, Let's look at how to apply one. I'll be using this combat application tourniquet, or CAT, the same tourniquet used by military, law enforcement, firefighters, and paramedics. It's standard in many first aid kits. For this demonstration, let's imagine that the wound we're treating is on the leg, right here. Now let's use the five steps laid out by the National Institutes of Health, the same steps I learned in the Marine Corps. First. Remove all clothing from the wound to prevent the tourniquet from slipping. Second, undo the band and place the tourniquet two to four inches above the wound, like this. Third, tighten the band snug to the skin. Fourth, twist the tension rod clockwise until you cannot twist it any further. Fifth, lock the rod into place and place the white band over it. If possible, Write down the time of application on the white band with a pencil or pen or anything that will write, like lipstick. It's crucial to record or remember the time. As University of Texas Health Sciences professor Robert Sipple states, if a tourniquet is left on for more than two hours, it can result in permanent nerve damage to the limb. Once the tourniquet is applied, wait with the injured person until emergency personnel arrives. Now what if you don't have a cat available? In that case, it's easy to improvise. The best way to improvise is with a belt, a scarf, or even a t-shirt. Without a cat rod, you can use a pen, pencil, or even a stick. For this demonstration, I'm going to be using a scarf and a pencil. First, tie the scarf into a loose knot around the limb. Then, Insert the pencil into the knot, tighten the knot, and twist the pencil until you cannot twist it any further. Hold in place until emergency personnel arrive. In conclusion, whether it's a traditional cat or something improvised, tourniquets can be a lifesaver. Today I've showed you when to apply a tourniquet and how to apply one. I hope you're never in a situation where a tourniquet is needed, but if you are, you now know what to do.